tomorrow. What's the chances of getting it in the bin from here? <laughs> Are you ready? Go. Eish! We do like cross country routes. This is our route from Inga Manitza over towards Stasinaliki to pick up the coast over there. And it is just beautiful landscape. People don't associate this with Greece normally. done a bit of washing this morning put it out to dry but unfortunately I don't think the weather's going to be very kind for a little while so we usually put our little plants out we've got basil mint and a little fern that we put out in the sun we'll just have to get the washing in and our little washing machine knows how to bring a storm it does that'll go from nothing to torrential Yeah. <laughs> so we've had an interesting drive today. Uh, it's been absolutely bucketing it down most of the day, isn't it? We've sort of kept clear of it, but there's been a lot of water on the roads. Thessaloniki has had quite a lot of rain recently, like floods already mm. before. We're just south of Thessaloniki um, on a beach on the coast, aren't we? Heading yeah. down towards the first finger of Halkidiki. Um But it's a nice spot on the beach, isn't it? It is. It's a really nice little spot. It's really quiet. There's only one motorhome home here when we got here. Yes. And, uh, however, <laughs> yeah. we think there might be a wedding going on. They were unloading chairs from a truck over there. Now there's some nice little jazz music going on. And we know how these things go till about five o'clock in the morning. Yes. <laughs> so we'll see. So there is a bar just here. We may go and join in. Yeah. It's a lovely beach. It's nice clear water. We've obviously had a cloudy day. We've got a sunset over the back there. And we reckon it's gonna be a nice day tomorrow. Yes, it is meant to be nice tomorrow. So, Should we go and party? What's jazz? I don't think they're gonna have jazz all night. But yes, it's a lovely place. For now. <laughs> See how it is in the morning. It's just after nine in the morning. Um, there was a wedding next door, wasn't there? Just, yes, just there behind was a us. <laughs> and that finished at about five o'clock this morning. So it wasn't that intrusive, was it? The music was all right. Um, but it was notable when it finished at five, wasn't it? So it's sort of a restless night till about five. Yeah. Could have always moved the van. But we could have moved the van, but we didn't. You've got in your pocket. Oh, spiky ball. Collect all sorts, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> so we're going to go and get a coffee. We're going to go and grab a coffee down there. Surprise! <laughs> yes. We don't really drink that much coffee, but it's a nice morning. Have a look at our view this morning. There's a few people about, it's still nice early. Breeze, there? Yeah, there's a nice breeze. I was hoping to get the drone up this morning, we'll have to see. You ready to go to the beach? You already been once. Pick some sand up yesterday. Yeah, no idea how this happened. We did it in Scotland with a load of gravel, didn't we? Now we've got a load of sand. Really not off-roading that much, I promise. We're going to see if these are open. For coffee. Coffee key. Carousel were open, um, but at five euros for a coffee, we just said, and uh, we'll put the gas off and do our own for that. Hey, <laughs> finally. 
five euros for two, which is better than five mm. euros for one. From a Melissa. Yes. It's on the cup. Beat. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Melissa Seaside Bar. Yes. Found a good little area in Lidl yesterday. Cheap and cheerful, but hangs up nicely. And Cooper's just chilling outside the van. A lot more people here now, a lot more cars about driving around. It is Saturday and the kids aren't back at school yet either, so they're probably enjoying their last bit of holiday. So we've put our gate across to keep the dogs in. Just keep them safe, they don't get run over. And Tops is on her harness. There is like three stray dogs around here as well, which were a bit funny of our dogs last night. So the last thing we want to do is let Tops roam about out there. But she's happy enough. What be that? German. German, no. We're jamming, we're jamming, we're jamming. Someone's jamming all along. We're jamming. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, Cooper, do you have to be there panting, mate? It is warm, Coop. It is warm. We need to put some windows open. So we're back in Thessaloniki. Again. Again. Because we couldn't make our mind up yesterday. Yeah, we did come here yesterday. Our GoPro, we've got the GoPro Hero 7. And the power button has actually got a hole through the membrane, so it doesn't. Mean, it means the camera's not waterproof yeah, anymore. Yeah, we haven't tried it because, like, if we do, we may not have a camera anymore. So yeah. we figured we're better off keeping it, and yeah, it's still got a purpose then. But we feel we're missing out on some underwater shots and bits and pieces where we use it in the water normally. So yeah, even like taking it out on the sup, it's like, uh, like. It could just see the back of it, couldn't it? Yeah, if it drops it in the water. So we're back in Thessaloniki. There's a um, electrical shop over there, which we went into only yesterday, <laughs> but couldn't decide what we're going to buy. We've gone away and done some research, haven't we? Yeah, and I think we're just going to go for it. So we're going to go and have a look at a GoPro Hero 10, <laughs> um, which is the latest model. Yeah. So we're back waterproof again. And a perk of buying it in the EU now is the one good thing that's come out of Brexit, we can't think of anything else at the moment, is that you can claim the VAT back. So we should be able to get anywhere between 8 and 16% of the purchase price back. Yeah. <laughs> and there we have it. And we've ordered an additional battery. So we've got to come back again. On in a couple of days. Yeah, again. Let's have a look. Have a little look what we got. Da -da -da. GoPro 10. We're home. A few days. <laughs> and everyone's buggering off. Good. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Got our last Freddo cappuccinos from uh, Melissa Beach Bar just there yeah. because we're heading off today and if we do come back I reckon it'll be sharp because they're closing in a week and a half for winter. Yeah so, it's not going to be long now No, is it? But yeah we're moving on and uh, as always it looks like a bomb's gone off by our van. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're just drying our swimwear from this morning. Um, but we we went down to well we're on Epanami Beach which is just south of Thessaloniki isn't it? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the beach, the other end there, there is a um, shipwreck. Yeah, 1970s, I think. 
shipwreck. I think it was shifting soil or something and hit the sandbanks and so not an amazing exciting story to go with it but um but worth a look. It's in the shallows, you can have yes. a swim around it. We've taken Sandy. some footage. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's nice, it's just a lovely beach, it's a lovely shallow beach. Yeah, it's a nice beach. Um, we think it, Not overly commercial and yeah. worth a visit as far as I'm concerned. It is nice and quiet now. Um, really busy at the weekend it was, wasn't it? Mad, yeah. But yeah, so we're going to head off today. We'll just pan around and show you where we've been. Hold that one second. No, this one is mine. <laughs> this is Melissa's, Melissa Bar here. So we're not far away. They do like a bit of music at the weekends which is nice and you, you're just following me around on the pan <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out of the way yeah. <laughs> but the waters here are nice and shallow nice and warm we've had a neighbour here for a few nights haven't we he's a he's a yep. lot of van driver from Poland nice, yeah, chap. nice chap and there's quite a few campers that go further down we we could have gone further down but we like to leave the van around where there's, there's other a lot people of really. Down there. Oh yeah, and there's mozzies. And the shipwreck is just, I can see it by the naked eye, but between these cars here at the back, just by the beach there, we had a wander down there this morning. I'm not gonna move that camera away. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry about the topless old lady. <laughs> You're going, <laughs> and the naked eye.